Welcome back, traders and investors. We have Aurelia Ogliti on the line. She's a senior analyst and market strategist at Nordia Markets. How are you doing this morning? Uh, this morning, well, it's actually late uh, afternoon here, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm doing fine. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, I just... The day is rolling. Uh, yeah. Yes, actually, I'm in Europe, based in Europe, so for me, it's... Uh, the morning is long, long gone. Yeah, no, I just thought about that one because uh, Brianna told me you were in Denmark. So, real quickly, how do you, you know, what time do you start your trading day and what time do you end it? Um, well, usually the trading day starts, um, it actually depends. Uh, some people start at around 7 here. Uh, I'm an early bird, so I usually prefer to do started 5, 6 in the morning, um, so that, yeah, I would be able to check uh, how the Asian markets have been doing and uh, if there is any news overnight. Um, but, uh, yeah, the day is, is, is also kind of um, up to everyone to decide. Uh, my style is, 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 is being always uh, in the markets, so actually it just roll o rolls over and over. Uh, there is no, no <laughs> okay. end point. <laughs> okay, so you're the senior analyst and market strategist at Nordea Markets. Uh, tell us about your firm. Uh, well, Nordea Markets is, uh, well, Nordea is actually the largest Scandinavian bank and the markets is, is the securities division of the bank. Um, well, just as any securities division, we are, uh, we have uh, teams of people responsible for uh, FX and fixed income uh, and the other part of the division is um, equities. So I am actually sitting in the uh, FX and fixed income um, group uh, of people. And the rest of the yeah of the trading floor is organized again as, as any other trading floor, uh, trade traders, uh, sales, and an analyst. So I'm in the research uh, part of the organization. Okay, so your ultimate professional goal is to develop the highest pop possible accuracy in the feeling for upcoming financial market developments. And you specialize in data analysis and market research, investment and hedging uh, solutions. Wow, that seems like a tough job. So, what, first, let's talk about you know you're trying to get a feeling for upcoming financial market developments. Are you are you trying to analyze the data that you know comes out from the government, such as you know durable good orders, unemployment numbers, or are you you know concentrating on you know macro events such as what's going on in the Ukraine or going on in Israel? Um, what what do you choose to focus on? Uh, well, actually, it's a little bit of, of a mix. Uh, I'm an, an economist and I, I'm specialized, or at least I got a degree in economic analysis. So I come from quite, quite quantitative economic uh, field, at least from academic side. Um, so, so I do follow macro a lot, and I have a very keen interest also in history. So the way I'm looking at the markets is very, is very broad, and uh, it's actually it's not just the, the latest numbers. It's also uh, kind of a big picture. It's, it's also uh, the analysis of, of politics. It's also the analysis of, um, uh, of different uh, yeah, doctrines or economic uh, schools. So I put all these things in, in, in kind of in the perspective and, and I get this big picture and then I kind of zoom in and zoom, zoom out all the time because that's, I also think that people who are in the markets should do uh, because, yeah, uh, sometimes we just get boxed in, in, in specific uh, currencies or specific um, stocks and then and bonds and forget the big picture. So I, I think it's, it's very important to zoom out as well. So it's, it's difficult to say um, your, regarding your question whether I'm kind of uh, looking at just data or, or just particular data because I'm really looking like at everything. You do. You covered the whole gambit there. Uh, so, what do you what do you see now? I mean, uh, the market obviously has been on a tear here. Uh, really, a great month in August, which is traditionally not a great month for the market here. Uh, market at new all time highs here. Are you seeing any uh, developments in the financial markets, whether it be from the data or the macro, that uh, can uh, derail this market? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, after I came back from my holiday just weeks ago, and I'm, uh, I wrote a few letters also to our clients, uh, I see this market as very, very bullish. Uh, I think the stocks will perform in autumn. Um, I think we are now preparing for uh, for further new highs uh, in, in U.S. stocks and also European stocks will catch up. Um, I think people uh, will uh, be back to, to European uh, stock markets in particular, in particular financial stocks, banks. 
Um, so I think that that will actually act against the, the U.S. dollar, uh, despite the fact that the dollar has been strengthening for the past few months. Uh, people see positive news as uh, positive stock market developments as, as, as good for dollar. Um, I actually think quite the opposite. I think that this upco- upcoming or now the dollar has, uh, has actually uh, peaked for for uh, for a, some at least weeks to go, or if not months. Um, and I see general emerging markets performing, equities performing, risk on. Let's get the party started again. The summer low is over. So you're just you you don't see anything on the horizon right now that could upset the apple cart. That we're just gonna plow through this uh, two thousand level in the S and P's. I do you have any uh, any upside targets? Do you do any technical analysis and put projections on how high the market can go, or do you just let it do its own thing? Um, I well, I'm, I'm just looking at, of course, at the market analysis. Uh, I do also use a technical tool, but for me, like technicals account, I'll say for like 20% of my analysis. I could easily see the S and P as well. The next milestone is 2030, but I could easily see it coming even higher. Um, yeah. So, so basically, bullish trend continues. Uh, in okay. Time. All right. Yeah. I got to ask you about, I mean, I'm sure you, you look at a lot of different stocks, and uh, one has just been a real puzzler here, and it's not a U.S. stock. Let's Deutsche Bank. Do you, do you follow that at all? I mean, it looks like it's starting to form a little bit of a rounding bottom here, but, uh, you know, this stock just is, I mean, obviously it's a different force, different market, but uh, do, you ha- do you have any thoughts on Deutsche Bank? Could it be a buy at these uh, lower levels? Um, well, yeah, as I said, uh, in general, I look uh, at equities, I look, since I am uh, specializing in, in FX and fixed income, I look at equities as a, as, as a group, uh, as an asset class. And in general, when I look at valuations, um, I do still think that the European stocks and bank stocks in particular are cheap. I do think that what ECB is going to do in autumn, uh, I think it will, is, is going to help banks to offload uh, the, the bad assets and, and uh, to, to increase equity again. I think the confidence in the markets will increase and that will boost inflows to European stocks. So in general, Deutsche Bank is, is, is not an exception. I think that uh, that market uh, segment is going to perform uh, in the coming six to months to one year. I just want to point out to our traders real quick, uh, crude has just popped up over the $94 level. We just hit $94.11. That's the area of the highest in the last two days. So if you had an intermediate target on your crude position here, we just uh, hit some resistance here just above the $94 level. So um, is there anything that you don't like in the market right now? I know you're overall bullish. Is there any sectors or any individual stocks that, uh, I mean, because you recommend long as well as shorts to your clients, right? You just, I mean, you just can't be bullish everything. No, I cannot be bullish uh, everything. So if it was short, of course, it would be government bonds. Uh, I'm not sure about the timing, uh, but I do think that especially European government bonds and especially those uh, kind of risk-free, if you want to call it, uh, like German bonds. Uh, I think that uh, at some point within the next one to three months, this market is going to turn. Uh, and I think that the rates will go higher, especially European rates, since now uh, basically nobody is pricing anything from ECB in, 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 in the horizon of four or five years ahead. So I think that, uh, yeah, once this, I think that the bullish sentiment in the stock markets will uh, actually be consistent with uh, some pickup in yields or SLOs in, in government or risk bonds. That should also, of course, be consistent with the rising U.S. Treasury yields. But again, it's, it's timing is everything as always. Um, I don't see it like happening here and now, but I think we are getting there within the coming few weeks. Okay, let's talk about uh, Nordea a little bit. And, uh, you know, who, who are your clients? Are they uh, institutional uh, investors or smaller investors? Who, who do you guys uh, who do you guys service? Uh, well, in particular, my team, or, or we are servicing institu- institutional clients. So these are large, um, yeah, large pension funds, uh, also treasuries of large European cor- corporates. So basically, it's um, kind of I would say, yeah, uh, I would say my personally, my client base is maybe 25 percent hedging and like yeah the rest is uh, the rest is this speculative kind of interest like institutional investors so the asset side as you call or alpha side if you want to call it 
how do you hedge? Do you use uh, futures or options or uh, what? What's the best? I mean, when you do hedge, what? Uh, how? How do you use? How do you uh, hedge for your clients? What do you recommend? Uh, well, actually, it's, it's it's funny that after the uh, the crisis, after the Lehman crisis, as we call it, the the trend has in general been to go as plain vanilla as possible. So even though we kind of try to recommend different option structures and various solutions. Um, it is clear uh, to us that among the clients, uh, now the, the key requirement or one of the preferences is actually to be as simple as possible. So so basically, it's just simple, like, for example, FX forwards or simple plain vanilla options. So gone are the days in, in 2006 and 2007 where people were doing all the uh, exotic double no-touch uh, knock-ins and knock-outs. And what not? Uh, and I think now the trend is, is really to keep it simple. So for us, it's well, on the one hand, it's also simple for us because it's okay. And just um, just going on the yeah. macro end of things, I mean, uh, you know, our earlier earlier guest, uh, you know, was talking about the Middle East situation, and you know, things are as bad or worse than you know he's ever seen it. Um, tensions obviously been going on there for a long time. Do you see? You know something from the the Middle East or Ukraine and Russia? Do you see you know Do you see that as posing any threat to the to the bull market? No, actually, I don't see it. volatilities uh, remain low despite all the events happening. Um, yeah, if, if if you look at the credit spreads as well, it seems like the market is ignoring it, and I really see no reason why the market should uh, take this into consideration unless we really break out into some some war. And even that, if you look at the history again. Uh, history shows that all geopolitical, um, co- geopolitically caused um, weaknesses in market or sell-offs in market are usually reversed soon, soon after, and, and the market just goes to new highs. So, you know, even if it happens, that could be probably an opportunity. If, if not, it would not change the trend. The trend will be still determined by global macro trends. Okay, well, I can't get you bearish if I tried. So, uh, we're going to end the interview. Aurelia Agalite. Agalaiti, Senior Analyst and Macro Strategist at Nordea Markets. Thanks for uh, staying late in the day and coming on our show, and uh, we hope to speak to you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.